All right, good evening everybody. It's your boy Akeem and welcome to today's vlogs. Here to give you some more college football previews for the 2016 college football season. And for this vlog, here to talk about the West Division of the American Athletic Conference. As promised, yesterday I posted my videos for the East Division. And for today's vlog, I'm going to talk about the West. Starting with last year's champs, the Houston Cougars. What a great, marvelous season they had last season under new head coach Tom Herman coming out of the Ohio State who was an assistant coach there and he emerged well in his first year at Houston did a great job leading this team to a 12 and 1 season an American Athletic Conference championship and the inarguable bowl on matchup a matchup against between them and Eastern champs the Temple Owls winning 24 to 13 then winning a big game in the Peach Bowl in front of national audience against number nine Florida State in the Peach Bowl this past season 30 38 to 24 what a great win under his first season as head coach and they do have some great players returning back for this team certainly in the offensive side they have the return of star quarterback Greg Ward who's actually one of the most versatile athletes entering this season he started his career as a wide receiver then did a great job on transfer on firming to the quarterback position and he's been doing a great job passing and running the football leading the team on the ground with over 11 100 yards rushing and over 2200 yards passing he's definitely going to be the front runner for offensive player of the year of the american athletic conference last season it was given to navy's keenan reynolds and i think it's going to be a race between um, greg ward and quentin flowers as the offensive player of the year quentin flowers out of, of south florida now he is going to be missing out on a couple of players offensively starting with the top wide receiver and demarcus ayers who's now with the pittsburgh steelers and kenneth farrell who i believe is with the San Diego Chargers no longer in the team in the National Football League, but they still have some good players around him. Sticking with the wide receiver position, they do have a couple players that um, uh, uh, that will be backing him up for uh, Greg Ward. And at running back, they do have a couple of players that's going to be stepping up. Brandon Wilson and a Texas transfer in Duke Cat uh, uh, Catalan, who's a good running back, highly recruited running back for the Texas Longhorns, but then decided to just jump shift after his first year at Austin, decided to transfer to Houston, sat out in 2015, and he will play this year under coach Tom Herman, who has high hopes for this kid at running back. Now defensively they did lose a couple of a couple of big names on the defensive side who they're gonna have to step players who's gonna have to step it up. Starting with Elandon Roberts, a first team all American Athletic Conference linebacker, as well as Trevon um Stewart who was also first team and a NFL great um prospect and a good draft pick this past season and William Jackson the third who was second team all conference honors. Which means BJ Singleton is gonna have to step it up in the defensive line as well as great linebacker Steven Ty Taylor who was had um, led the uh, conference with 10 sacks last season. Now if you look at their schedule, this is going to be a tough one for them, but I think they're uh, capable to um, pull it, make it back to the conference championship. September 15th, they're going to be playing against Cincinnati. That's going to be a great matchup for you guys to watch. A big revenge game on September 29th against Utah UConn, who spoiled their season last season with a 2017 upset. I think it was one of the top three biggest upsets this, this past season. October the 8th versus Navy. This is going to be a good game, but Navy no longer has Keenan Reynolds. And on November 17th, a good matchup against Louisville. Now, if you really look at their schedule, I think they have a chance to play well, but I forgot to mention the biggest game of the season is their first week in Texas against Oklahoma, and that is going to kick things off for the Houston Cougars. I forgot to talk about that. Sorry, I apologize for that. But OU is going to be a one of the big uh, um, uh, front runners of, as far as the college rankings this upcoming season, looking to win a Big 12 championship. And this is going to be a great kickstart for both these two teams. If Houston wins, that's definitely going to propel them to even possibly make to the college football playoff. And ending the season again, Against Louisville, and on November 17th, Louisville can sleep their way and wrecking havoc in the F, uh, in the ACC conference. And if they do well, and if Houston stays undefeated, Houston could definitely get some good points and make it to the college football playoff. But I think they're going to have a tough schedule. I think they're going to lose in the first week against OU with that loss, and I think they're going to lose later on in the season. I don't think they're going to make it back to a major bowl of, 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 um, game this past year, this upcoming season. But it's going to be very interesting. But I do believe that they're going to get another 10 win season and make it to the uh, conference championship and I actually have to I actually going to stick with them and predicting 
of Houston winning back-to-back -back conference championship. So I think that the Houston Cougars are going to go 10-2 and two in the regular season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have five more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.